this series, this time, this time frame, this this moment in my life is called Stand Still and See the Salvation of the Lord. For the enemy you see today, you shall see no more. Take her Good morning. Man, you get up. It's like, I don't even know what time it is, but it's like 10 something. I'm getting ready to go to a podcast interview, which is exciting. So I'm like, let me hop on here. Let me start my day. Today is Tuesday. As I'm uploading these, it's day by day. And I want to warn y'all, like, I have so many videos stored up that I have not posted. So here and there, I will pop in a video that I have recorded before, but I'm gonna let you know. Like, I ain't gonna, I, like, I wanna take you on this journey with me. So, I'm letting you know now. Today is Tuesday, November 19th. And yeah, I'm getting ready for this podcast interview. Uh, I'm praying that it goes well. I'm praying that it's an opportunity just for me to shine the light of the Lord. Like, wherever I go, I just wanna let you show, like, I just wanna show you, Lord. So that's what I'm getting prepared for today. And as I'm getting ready, as I was in the shower, like, like it's something about the shower. Like some the hot spirit is down, down like on my face too. But this dry. journey <laughs> is definitely one. The glass, hold on. Let me look. Let me let me do my face, and then I'm gonna come back. This gonna be one of the first ones. Uh, that I'm like, oh yeah, I will take that because this moisturizer that I'd be using, I think I got it from like. Uh, Marshalls or Burlington, something. I I forgot where it got it from, but I be wanting my skin to be feeling. It's soft, but mm -mm, I want it moisturized. But like I was saying, this journey is definitely one of taking care of the mindset before anything. It's the mindset. It's the mindset. And when it comes to building a kingdom business, I have come to realize and learn there's building businesses and doing things the world's way and then there's there's doing things the kingdom way and standing on kingdom principles versus worldly principles and look i'm not gonna spend all my time in here because i think it's loud so let me do my eyebrows put on my clothes and then we're gonna tap into that before i get ready to leave i have to be there at 12. i'm so excited like i i just <laughs> I'm like, Lord, I pray that this just sparks a momentum, like sparks a, like, let's go. I'm excited. I'm excited. The bank, bank account is still where it was yesterday. If you was here yesterday, it's still there with a little change in there by the grace of God. Like, Lord, I thank you. But, like, when you come into this space of trusting the Lord, like, you, you just come to realize, like, it's not all about that. The Lord gonna make a way. As y'all seen, I had two masks left yesterday. Like, he is my God who provides in more ways than one. So let me finish my eyebrows and then we're gonna get on this. Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold a hand and don't believe a lie. You understand me? Look, I need a tripod. I need, I need y'all help me to go over there and grow on uh, TikTok so I can get one of them tripods so I can let y'all know how it really works. But um, I wanted to finish telling y'all about the mindset shift from. Just a worldly mindset to kingdom mindset. And I started running late. Like, I'm on my way to my podcast interview. And I didn't have time. Hold on. But, yeah, I didn't have time to uh, to stop and talk. And now I'm seven minutes away. I'm supposed to be there at 12 o'clock. And it say I make it at 12 on one. At 12 on one. I didn't even want to be late. But my sister started talking to me, and I'm just like, girl, I gotta go. Like, she know how I am. She know that my wheels will start turning if I stand there and just talk to her. And so that's what happened. We just started talking, and I wanted to bring him a juice and everything. And 
I end up sitting there talking to her about the business and like the vision. We talk about the vision every single day. We're gonna talk about it until we see it. And um, so that's what happened. So now I'm one minute behind. I didn't even want to be late. I want to be early. But anyway, the mindset shift from kingdom, from the worldly mindset to the kingdom mindset. That's what this journey has been about uh, so far. Is understanding that the way the op the way the world operates is not how we operate in the kingdom. And so one of the mindsets that I was operating in, the reason why I couldn't function properly, trying to you know do business, trying to do entrepreneurship, is because I was taking on the belief that you can't chase two rabbits at one time. And I'm like, I can't take, I can't chase two rabbits at one time, cause one going another way, another going this way, and so you pick up that belief to where now I don't know which rabbit to chase. I don't know which way to go. I want to, I want to go that way, and I want to go this way. I want that rabbit, and I want this rabbit. I want to do that business and this business. And the world will tell you, you can't chase two rabbits at one time. Like okay, and then as I begin to read and and really dive in into the kingdom mindset and the kingdom principles, um, I came across the principle that said, uh, "The Lord gives seed to the sower." So it takes my mind off of chasing rabbits to now have seeds in my hand, and then I say, "Oh, which seed do I plant?" I don't know, and it's no coincidence that the he he elect to start. One of my hobbies is gardening, growing things. And it's been a couple of years now, and it was try and fail, fail and try. Of course, that comes with any and everything. And I had to learn from it. But as I'm growing these items, and this is the first year that I actually grew peppers from seed, grew anything from seed, where I planted to see, planted the seed, and it's about to reap a harvest because the peppers are growing, and it's so amazing. Oh my goodness, I'm about to show y'all when I get back home. But I'm reaping a harvest from the seeds that I planted. So now that I'm understanding, the kingdom principle is that the Lord gives seeds to the sower. So now instead of being confused about which rabbit I should chase, I don't know which rabbit I should chase because they're go they both they both they both move and they both running from me. And that's another mindset shift because in the kingdom we don't have to chase nothing. It's no chasing. Everything is a giving. It's given to us, but we're responsible for going to go get it. In the kingdom, it's a given, but true, you have to get up. You have to get out. You have to go get the provision. You don't get to just sit here and I come and feed, spoon, uh, uh, feed you with the spoon. No, that's not how it works in the kingdom. You are still responsible for getting up and going to go get it. And that's a mindset shift that I had to, had to uh, experience. What do they have going on? And so... That was one mindset shift from rabbits to seeds. And so then we got, then we have the seeds. And then another uh, mindset shift from the world into the kingdom was, oh, I sleep when I die, or team, no sleep. It's, it's, it's going grind time. No. I, I, I found out that we don't grind over here. It's a given. Why am I grinding and leaving and losing sleep? Uh, behind these things and then the bible tells us the kingdom principle tells us that the lord gives rest to the ones that he loves the bible says you're up toiling all night and you rise early and early in the morning in vain you're toiling and you're rising early in vain why because it's a given this stuff is a given and you know it's a given because the bible tells us in matthew 6 and 33 seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all in its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you all these things are a given so i had to shift my mindset from from grinding oh i gotta i gotta stay up late to get this done oh, i gotta lose sleep to get this done and it's just like i've been sleeping like a baby but when i'm awake what et say a lion they say a lion sleep 12 hours a day but oh when it's awake when it's when it's up it's go time when we are awake it's go time the bible tells us we cannot work while it is while it is while it is night while it's night time we're supposed to be working while it's daytime while we still have the light <clears throat> and those are the principles that you have to shift from 
But yeah, your girl pulling up to my podcast interview. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my goodness. I'll be back. You can't relate. Mm-hmm. Well, most people can relate to you. Yeah. So if I teach you how to invest and, and, and to grow your portfolio, that's a better, that's a better, that's a better sell to the audience, basically. Yeah. Instead of just getting a, this person on my, my yeah. they can't learn from that person. I was just telling my sister. So this mindset shift was given to me yesterday, but we just now speaking on it right now. Series, this time, this time frame, this this moment in my life is called Stand Still and See the Salvation of the Lord. And each day, each day I've been saying, Lord, what is my enemy on today? The enemy wants me to believe that it's poverty, but poverty is not my enemy. It's today my enemy is not being able to see. You're telling me to stand still and see. Lord, help me to see. Help me to see. Give me eyes to see. Restore the sight unto my eyes so that I may see what you are doing. The Bible also tells us, can't you see that I am doing a new thing? I can't see it because I'm blind. Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, open my blind eyes on today. My enemy is not poverty. My enemy is the lack of sight. My enemy is the uh, the lack the lack of being able to see the things that you are doing. Restore the sight unto my eyes so that I may see. I want to see on today. I want to be able to see every move you make, everything that you're doing. But I'm excited on today. Yeah, look, y'all, if y'all been with me since uh, I think that was last week on Thursday or Friday, I'm on here boohooing. You couldn't even see it in the video, but I was boohooing. But your girl gonna keep going. I, I gotta keep going. Like I said yesterday, I have to keep going. I just finished the podcast and that was exciting. I just thank God for like building this momentum. Keeping this excitement, being able to just keep going. When I'm telling you to keep going, I'm telling you to keep going. I, I can't stop. In my stopping, my standing still is just praising him along the way. And as I'm praising, like I said, after church Sunday, just I just want to keep my praises high this week. If I could just keep my praises high this week, that is my goal. I just want to keep my praises high. I want to keep the energy going. And coming from this um, podcast interview today, I'm just like, let's go. (laughs) I'm just like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, we're going to keep moving. Oh, no, I don't want to put that on there. We're going to keep going. I just left the interview. I was going to do uh go out there and do some orders. I'm like, nah, I'm just going to go home and put in my hours within the business. So that's what we're doing. Just pulled up to the house. About to get these hours in. Uh, This focus time in to just work on, I guess, like the backside of the business. I don't know. I'm... Look, I'm low-key ready for the funds to start flowing, but I'ma just look, I'ma just keep it. I am going to just stay on the process. Like we so used to everything being given right then and there. We so used to microwave processes, but this is not a microwave process. This is not a microwave type of life. This is not a microwave type of situation. So I have to keep that in mind that it's not going to come when I want it to come. Just like I plant those seeds up there. That's what I'm going to show y'all when I go upstairs, my little uh, patio garden when I planted the seeds I want to see peppers the next day but that's not how seeds work seeds take time it takes process and then eventually when the time has come you see a fruit let me go show you the fruits let me go show you the fruits it's just a representation that the time it, I'm just in time I'm just in time there's a time there's a process that's taking place and then eventually lighthouse juice is going to produce a fruit j2i is going to produce a fruit we just in a time and a season of process so 
Yeah, that's where we at. That's why I can smile right now. That's why I can have joy right now. My bank account don't have to match my belief system. But my, look, I know it's coming. That's where it's at. Have a faith that is there and resting. Just learning to rest. Learning to trust. Like, let me go show y'all my fruits that my peppers have produced. Uh... And I think it's been like six months, probably. I don't even know what I planted those seeds, but hold on. I want to get into my little pepper plants that I was telling you about. They're growing all over, as you can see. I don't even know what the other ones are. They down here. I have a huge one right there. But yeah, I've, I discovered that they was going to produce in their time. They're going to produce in their time. And I didn't have to rush it. And as you can see, I didn't have to rush it. I was impatient, but I didn't have to be impatient. I could wait patiently. And it was going to begin to produce in their timing. I'm trying to show you this one. But yeah, these were the first two that popped out right there. And this one right here. But yeah. It's my little, my little outdoor garden. When you find out that one of the currencies of the kingdom is connections, if you go to Acts and read about the story of Cornelius, Cornelius couldn't get what he needed until he sent for, for Peter. And Peter came into his life. He connected with Peter. Peter was a currency, currency of the kingdom. That connection was a currency of the kingdom. Look, look. Hey, look y'all. We ending the night up here uh, at my daughter's practice. She really recording. She is too cute. When they see what they see is what they do. Pocket.